Right, so there you have it. They're all done. And overall, I'm quite happy with the jig. There are a few improvements which I need to do for next time. Remember, this is all a learning curve and I've only literally just followed Steve's instructions. No practice. It was just build the jig as I was making the video and I've just run them through. Today I've got a task on and this particular task is tapering some legs for this console table. Been dreading it for a while because I've never tapered anything before and I know I need some form of jig and it's going to be run through the table saw. Got some inspiration off YouTube and a guy called Steve Ramsey. So thanks Steve. He's from a channel called Woodworking for Mere Mortals. It's a great idea. Mine are slightly different from Steve's legs. He's used um, softwood. Um, I've made them up of three strips laminated of birch ply, two 18s and a 25. That's given me around 59 mil. So I've got 59 mil all around. And like I said, I'm gonna be starting my taper from the top, 150 mil down, and we're gonna be going to about 35, I believe, in the middle. So what Steve's jig does, it allows you to adjust that taper at the bottom, because once you've taken a taper off two of the sides, when you go and put it back onto the jig again, it's not gonna be right. So Steve's jig is perfect for that, where it's got an adjustment screw right at the bottom. So I'm gonna be using a bit of MDF for the base, and I've got some standard ply, which I've had lying around for the fence. Also got the toggle clamps lying around, had these anyway, two of those. I'll leave a description in the link. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So here's gonna be my base. So we're gonna line it up with one front edge of the board or the sled. And what we need to do is make a fence here now. And we're gonna make this fence out of strips of ply over there. So we're gonna be ripping them down on the table saw, screw them together, and then we can screw them onto our sled. So I'm gonna rip this ply down into 60 mil strips, three of them, then cut them to length. So now we've done that, this is our fence, obviously not glued together. I'm gonna to turn them around and I'm just gonna screw them up one by one, keeping them flush and square as I go. For this job, I'm just gonna be using 30 mil screws. Okay, that's one. Let's go ahead and do the other. The reason I'm doing them in layers, because if I'm using thicker or thinner table legs, then the clamps will need to be clamped off of this fence at different heights. So you could just remove a layer if you want to. Okay, I'm going to flip that back over because that's the best face and we've got a nice square fence. Happy with that? Next thing I'm going to do is that you put your leg up against the edge. Simply get your fence and push it up against your leg. Happy with that? And then we're going to clamp that down. I really like these ratchet clamps and they're so easy to use. And they are just Bessie copies. Let's turn that back. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this fence on from the back. Halfway point, gonna strike it on. And I'm just gonna be a cowboy and just put that screw straight in without any pre-drilling. So now we can take the clamps off. Just so I don't get mixed up which sides, because they're similar spaces. This one, I'm just gonna put an arrow at the front and an arrow on the side. Put your leg back on and we need to put a little block here as a little stopper. So that works spot on there. So we're gonna just simply screw that on, just make sure that your leg is all lined up nicely. Beautiful, again, this could be removable as well. You can move it backwards and forwards depending on the length of your leg. So now we've done that, all we need to do is simply put an adjustable screw round about here. So that screw that we're putting in in a moment is just basically an, an adjusting a screw for allowing you to adjust that taper. Got my pre-drill here, which is gonna go center of the third layer so we don't split anything out. Got a pre-drill at about 40 mil. All the way, and we're gonna get a longer screw this time. We're gonna get a 50 mil screw just to give us a little bit more adjustment. All the way for now. Remember, this is gonna be running along the fence on our table saw in a moment. So next we need to do is put these toggle clamps down and we're gonna be putting two down, one at the top, one at the bottom, and that's just gonna hold our leg down whilst we're cutting. <laughs> toggle clamps on. I think this jig is ready to rock and roll, barring a few adjustments. 
We are going 150 mil down. That is what we planned in our drawings. And that is where our taper is gonna start from. So we need to square a line round on our legs. So let's come down 150 and then we'll square it, square it around on all of our pieces at one go. Square it around the remaining because we've got a reference line on all of them. Doo -doo -doo. And get that nut on. Okay, so don't make the mistake I did because I've got a 10 inch saw and then I just totally forgot that my saw blade only goes up to 75 mil and I've only managed to get it up to about 72 mil. So if you are using thicker legs, maybe go for a slightly thinner base to give you a little bit more saw cut. I have adjusted these toggle clamps at the right tension, but what we now need to do is work out where this taper starts, okay? So remember, we said we wanted a 14 mil removal of waste on every face. So we need to wind that screw out by 14 millimeters. That is spot on. Okay, so unfortunately there's one video clip that I couldn't use. The audio was really, really bad in it. I don't know what's happened. And it was probably one of the most important clips that I had. So let me run over a few bits. So I've got a square piece. Imagine this was the leg. I've got face one and face two this way, face three, face four. So what I did is run through first face one, then face two on all of them. And then I went through, changed the settings and went for face three and face four. One other thing is I made a mistake where my table saw only cut up to 75 mil in total in height. I used a 18 mil base. My legs were near enough 60 mil, so I wasn't gonna cut through. So I made that mistake. So I had to remove the base, put a piece of six mil in. It wasn't ideal, but I had to get myself out of trouble. My legs were already 60 mil. So take into account the height of your saw blade, how high that can go, and then make the calculations on how thick you want that base to be, and ultimately how big you want your legs to be. But apart from that, everything else is good. I'll crack on with the video. So I've got face one up. Okay, so I've done a little test run and we are a little bit short of the line, but I'm happy with that, I don't mind. But I know that my saw is cutting um, to my line. So yeah, happy with that. We got a little bit more of a problem because this toggle bolt isn't gonna be at the right tension. So what we can do is put a little packer in there of some kind and take the slack out with a packer or a spacer. So there we go, we just used some three mil spacers, We've got loads of those lying around. And let's go for it on the second face. We have done two faces. Before I move this and I adjust that thread once more, I'm gonna go ahead and do the remaining three legs. Then we'll go around and do face three and four. So there we go, face one and face two done on all four legs. Um, I'm simply just gonna wind this screw out another 14 mil and then I'm able to crack on and do face three and four. Right, so this is the last pass. Again, now on this toggle clamp, we're gonna have to put even more spacers in. Right, so there you have it, they're all done. And overall, I'm quite happy with the jig. There are a few improvements which I need to do for next time. Remember, this is all a learning curve and I've only literally just followed Steve's instructions. No practice. It was just build the jig as I was making the video and I've just run them through. So a few things I would pull up is number one, make sure that your saw blade can go through um, the entire thickness of your base and also the height of your leg. I had 60 mil, give or take, plus an 18 mil base to start with. That was 78. My saw was just on the limits or it was a little bit too small to be honest. So I've had to remove that base and make it smaller. So that's number one. I'd make the legs 
a little bit thinner to start with, maybe make them 50, 45, 50 mil. Number two would be where this, this toggle clamp clamps onto the fence um, on the opposite end of the adjusting screw at the front. I would have it starting at where this taper starts. And the reason being is I'm clamping it. Once I've done two tapers and I'm flipping it round, effectively it's not straight anymore. It's got that angle there. So where I'm crushing it down on that taper there, it's, it's making it rot. So I would put the toggle clamp exactly where that joint is or slightly further forward possibly. And number three is I would probably won't use birch anymore. I've got to do a bit of cleaning up. I was thinking, okay, well, it is um, easy enough to sand, but if that was softwood, it would have chomped through it so much easier and been a lot cleaner cut than using birch. Plus I wouldn't have had to laminate it. But other than that, we've got a nice taper. So here are the legs, they are complete now. And I have used the belt sander on them. I've got a rough paper in them. And then I went for the orbital after. So 240 on the orbital and 120, I believe, or 100 probably a hundred in there to just get those saw cuts out. So I used birch and ultimately it was probably a bad decision. They've come out nice, but you do get the marks, you get the burn marks and you do get the grain showing through. So as you're cutting through the layers, you're actually getting that line. It's absolutely fine. They're beautifully smooth and any marks that are left, you can't feel them. They're just um, visual. Um, so when they are painted, they're going to just turn out beautifully. So, they are finished, all done, really happy with them, nice and smooth. Took the arises off with the 1.6 mil radius cutter and they came out very, very nice. Um, I'm thinking in the long run, I might reduce the leg to about 45 or 50 mil at the top by the same. And I may even make it a little bit smaller at the bottom, maybe 25. We've got about 35 remaining. But this table that we are making is quite long. So these legs are gonna suit the table that we've got. Other than that, I think they came up lovely. And I wanna say thank you to Steve for the jig. As you can see, we've reduced the base to six mil and it turned out really nice. The toggle clamps work nicely and the adjusting screw here was a great touch and it just helps you just adjust all your tapers as you're going along. Just before I forget, we hit 30,000 subscribers in the filming of this. So, so thanks very much, we've hit that milestone. Other than that, I'll see you next Sunday. Take it easy, ciao for now.